next week. Decimal. And let us give an example of a decimal number. Um, 15.35. Fortunately for you dear, dear young children, you deal with decimals actually quite a bit in the real world, in real time, in real life. In what area? Where do you see decimals the most ranking? In places. Yeah, which we call money. Okay. So you're you're pretty used to decimals because decimals we deal with money and decimals. And the book tries to emphasize that because it talks about money um, modeling decimal numbers. Okay. But the coins you have to remember, because in money we have a whole bunch of different coins, you have to, this only goes so far in being realistic. Okay. For example, if you have fifteen dollars, you know the one, this one right here would be like a ten-dollar bill, right? I know who's on the ten-dollar bill. Who is it? Um, ben Franklin. Ben Franklin is a hundred. Oh yeah. It might be. Maybe Jefferson. Uh, anyways. Okay, so if you have $15.35, it's like having one $10 bill. And then the five would be like having five $1 bills. That's not very good. What a $5 bill? Wait, no. No, see, and that's what I said. In, in decimals, you can only think of these bills. A $5 bill doesn't really, it doesn't cut it in decimals because there's no five. You know, I want to stack five ones on top of each other. No, that's not what I want. Let's do it like this. And then this one gets put on top of that. 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 So these are all $1 bills. Who, who has the great picture of George W. Washington? And then really what we're talking about today is the decimal point here. Okay. And the first place after the decimal, do I know what? place value that has. This is the tens place, this is the ones place, but then when you go to the decimal, the first place after the decimal is called the, Brian? Tenths. Yeah, and you have to be careful with that, and I heard Brian say it. It is the tenths place. And with money, with money we have a coin that is one tenth of a dollar, which you probably know because it takes kind of a big a dollar, that is the dime. Our ten cent piece, which I I would certainly be for getting rid of any coin smaller than a quarter, because most of you wouldn't reach down to pick up a penny or a dime because they're not really worth anything. And then the next place after the tenths place, that one over there, which we would which is our penny place. I got five of them. Or one cent. What place is that in decimal though? And the way to think about that is how many pennies does it take to make a dollar? hundred. A hundred. So this is the hundredths place. Hundredths. When you talk about decimal, you've got this th that you have to add on, or otherwise you're going to be in kind of a world of hurt as far as that goes. So a penny is like having this. Dime is like having the tenths, singles are like having the five then. And then here's something to think about. Just like, just like when you have a number, let's say I've got a big number, let's say I've got 1,536.72. Uh, when you think about place value, when you think about the whole number, which is all the digits on this side of the number, as you get farther away from the decimal, these numbers start meaning a whole lot more. In other words, this just means you have like six, which would be six dollars. But here, this is like not just a three, it is thirty dollars, which is a bunch. And then here you get in the hundreds place, and that means like five hundred dollars, and that's a thousand. 
and things keep getting bigger as you go left on the place value and things. Well, with decimals, you're starting and it actually gets keeps getting smaller. So for example, here is my one piece of paper. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. If I have seven tenths of my piece of paper, that means I take my one thing, I cut it into See if I can do it. I cut it into ten pieces. Scissors. Scissors are for people who can't rip. Okay. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm like in the uh, ballpark, anyways. Here, so here. I took my one piece of paper. You can count them there. There, there were ten of them there. There are ten of them there. I would have seven tenths means I take seven. I should. I wish I could stick them on my board. Wait, I could. I probably could if I had tape. There's got to be a better way to stick. Them. Anyway, seven tenths. Seven tenths is like having all of these pieces of paper. Okay, those are seven tenths. But here, this is where it gets crazy. That was my seven tenths. Here, this is two hundredths. If you want to show what two hundredths is, I would have had to take my original piece of paper and cut it into a hundred pieces, and I have two of those. Now, yeah, yeah. this one already, if I cut, this is one tenth of my piece of paper. How many pieces would I have to cut this in to be, to make it so that it's one one hundredth of what I already started with? In other words, this, yeah, somebody here. So here was, here was my piece of paper. Let's pretend that's my whole piece of paper. I cut it into tens like this. Uh, and my one piece is this right here. If I want to show what one hundredth is, I take each tenth and cut it into ten pieces. Because this would be ten, that 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 would be ten. Ten tens is a hundred. So, I'm going to show you. Two hundredths would be me taking this cutting it into 10 pieces, one, well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to cut one in half and cut that in five. One, two, three, four, five. So here, this is about two hundredths of what I started with. Two hundred. I can get cut this into a hundred pieces, this is two of them. Now decimals keep going, they don't just stop at hundreds, we've got the next place, which would be thousands place. And to get to a thousand, I would have to take my hundred and cut it into ten pieces. So I'm gonna cut that in half, and I'm just gonna cut like about a fifth of it. Okay. So there is about a thousand of what I started with. There's about a thousand of those. And if I went to the next place, which is the ten thousandths place, I would have to cut this little piece of paper into 10 equal pieces, which I'm starting to get to out of my fingers, can't even get, get a hold of it. And, and decimals, decimals keep going on forever, but what you have to remember is, as they go on forever, they keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller and don't mean that much, as far as money or stuff goes. You know, this this number here, which is said seven, seven, 1,211 ten thousandths is smaller than if I had 0.73. Because each of these does never make up the one in front of it. But that's neither here nor there. But just know that really big decimal numbers are not really big numbers at all. The number one, ladies and gentlemen, would be bigger than this number. Uh, we have to write that? No. Uh, but just know one whole thing is bigger than that whole decimal number. You don't have to write any of that down. Because this means nine tenths, this is three hundredths, that's seven thousandths, ten thousand, blah, blah, blah. They just keep getting so small that by the time you get out here, it would be so small, whatever it is, it would be almost unimaginable. You need a microscope. You would need mica something. And so the questions they're going to ask you deal more with money than they do with decimals. But as you do those problems, keep in mind that money is a great example of how to deal with decimals. Fortunately, money stops here. There is one place where you do have this next decimal over here. 
and I'll tell you today, you can actually go see it. When you go past any gas station, and they write the price of a gallon of gas up, like I don't know if it's $2.05 right now. If you look to the right of this digit here, they do, different gas stations do it differently. Sometimes they have a fraction that is 9 tenths. Sometimes they have a 0.9 or whatever it is. What that gas station really isn't telling you is, really the gallon of gas doesn't cost you $2.05. It actually costs you $2.05 and 9 tenths of a cent. But you don't have, what is 9 tenths of a cent? We don't have a coin. We have no coins that have 2 tenths of a cent. But the gas station will round the gallon up to really you're paying two dollars and six cents for that gallon because, and I'm guessing it started way back when gas would maybe was a penny a gallon or ten cents a gallon and they throw that on there so they get a little extra cash from you. Because this is really the thousands place, and we don't have a coin for thousands, but something. Anyway, that's my heaven hawn about decimals and all the stuff that you need to know about that. Your assignment, children. I must have spent way too much time sermon. Yeah, lesson number. Wait, oh, you have twenty minutes, don't you?